March 30th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to start tonight with a request from one of my subscribers and another great channel here on YouTube. AFA Sky Goddess sent me a message today, and I'm just going to give you the gist of it. Well, there is a world of difference between the ground radiation exposure and nuclear fallout exposure. I am trying to find someone who can convey the difference between the two in a video or simply or supply simple scientific information so that when we read these radiation readings we understand just what they mean. I think many people are mixing up the two exposures. Both are dangerous but quite different. Now this is a request I'm sending out to all of you. Um, please attach a video below if you're able to convey this so we all might understand us laymen. I work boilers in the Navy, so I understand the concept of the boilers, but I don't know the nuclear part of it at all. I don't pretend to be an expert at anything, as most of you already know. But uh, it does bear merit, and uh, we need to pay attention to this so people will at least get their facts straight on this. Uh, and with that, Let's go to, hmm, let's go ahead and do the Fukushima. Um, again, more things going on with Fukushima. They're, they're admitting to the, at least one meltdown. Um, radiation being detected in the soil, plutonium, um, in the water, in the soil, in and around the plant. Um, it's mandatory evacuation to 12 kilometers. And, or... 12 miles or 15 kilometers or whatever and um, they cannot keep the lid on this genie much longer there is no no denying what's really going on so I will provide a lot of links below as usual so uh, if you are interested please you know do some homework let's go to earthchangescott.net Florida dead baby dolphin in in a rarity point uh, that's in the northern up north Florida another dead dolphin has washed ashore in our area this time just across the state line and uh, Perdido Bay on in a rarity point I N N E R A R I T Y for some reason I can't pronounce that but we may have a better understanding of what's taking so long to figure out why the dolphins are dying. This isn't a big mystery. Um, again, with all the Corexit and all the oil, the Gulf of Mexico, that, that Atlantic current comes right up past Florida, right up the East Coast, and um, that oil just didn't disappear. New South Wales has a second fish kill in as many months. Dead mullet have been found floating on the surface of Terry Waterway for the second time in less than two months. Uh, the fish could be seen in the wetland um, near Naloma Village at uh, Terry North yesterday. Also, this site similar to Fish Kill in February, which I reported on. Uh, they're blaming it on loss of oxygen, and they're saying some of the fish actually jumped out of the water before they died. More animal deaths, sea turtle deaths, anger, Mississippi residents. Um, again, we had a fish kill in Alabama yesterday. And uh, as a resident of a coastal Mississippi for more than 30 years, Shirley Tillman is used to seeing a few drumfish, seagulls, or jellyfish wash up on nearby sandy shores. It's a fact of life living by the sea. But in the past few weeks, Shirley has come across something she's never seen before dead sea turtles washing up on the beaches near spring break vacationers. Well, the story continues, and again, it's a big mystery, baby. <laughs> but um, time will tell, I am sure. More dead sea life continues to plague U.S. beaches. Alabama, months after hundreds of birds fell dead from the sky and after thousands of dead fish, crabs, sardines, dolphins, and whales washed ashore worldwide, more dead fish washed ashore in Alabama and dead whale washed ashore in Virginia. And I reported on that yesterday. 
and over to Extinction Protocol. Uh, planet Magnetic Field Anomalies Increasing. Uh, check it out, Northern Lights Unprovoked. Sometimes auroras just happen. Last night in Norway, a spectacular band of northern lights arched across the sky, unprovoked by obvious gusts of solar winds. Now, I've been reading reports the last couple days of the ozone uh, depletion of up to 70%, and that is moving over the Europe area, northern Europe area. This might explain the strange auroras. So, uh, definitely put on some sunscreen up there. And over to Japan Nightmare, 823 quakes after the big 9.0 and still shaking. Again, that entire shelf is unstable. And that's all they have new today. Over to a disaster alert network on Africa and Nambia. The president declared a state of emergency in northern parts of the country after heavy rain fell. Tens, uh, over 10,000 people have been displaced, roads washed away. We know the story. Um, just some severe weather in Africa. And uh, the official death toll in Japan's earthquake tsunami rises to 11,102. Traces of radioactive iodine-131 detected in Hong Kong. Um, over to a story I found on uh, Ice Age Now. Over 120 ships stranded in heavy ice in the Gulf of Finland. Now this is out of Russia. More than 120 vessels have become stranded in ice in the Gulf of Finland with their number growing by 20 ships every day, the St. Petersburg Seaport Administration said on Monday. Uh, the Gulf of Finland have been iced over for more than a month, with dozens of ships waiting for assistance because they are un unable to ply their way through the heavy one meter thick ice flows. The situation in the Gulf deteriorate, deteriorated last week after a cyclone from Norwegian Sea hit the region. And a total of 11 icebreakers, including a nuclear-powered one, have been sent to the area to help the stranded ships out. As of early Monday, 121 vessels out of 135 sailing in the Gulf have been trapped in the ice. Wow. So, uh, St. Petersburg, Russia, the Gulf of Finland, they haven't seen spring yet, that's for sure. And uh, I'm going to finish tonight with a sinkhole story in Florida. Woman rescued after she swallowed by a sinkhole. Plant City, Florida. A woman gardening in her backyard says the, under, the ground underneath her feet suddenly opened up Monday morning, swallowing her into the ground. Clara Chapman of Plant City says the sinkhole in her backyard left her seven feet underground, screaming for help. She says if it wasn't for her cell phone, she might be dead. And what she did is she dialed 911 and then threw the phone out into her yard so it can get reception. And uh, saved her a lot of turmoil anyway. So and I will attach that story below as well. Um, as far as the climate change stuff, that's about all I've got going on today. I know they're finding radiation in different spots of the world. Uh, if I find something cool on video, I will attach it below, of course. Um, please attach your videos or, or, or post your comments and let us know what's going on in your area or if I, you know, again, we are all in this together. So thanks for your help and uh, enjoy what you can, everybody.